Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be reviewing DC's new Ginny Hex. Number one, I believe it's a one shot. Either way, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell to see all my videos when they come out. And let's get going. So, it starts off with a joke, and they're working in a garage when a guy walks in, and they make a really uh, Randall Flagg reference about the guy. Uh, apparently he's been in several Stephen King novels. Uh, anyway, this guy ends up possibly being her father, who never knew that her mom was pregnant. Uh, her mom recently died of cancer, and he said he was, his whole story was checking her life on Facebook and found her. Uh, and then it says Q Cats in the Cradle, which is a really touching song by Cat Stevens uh, about a, a somewhat estranged father, and I really couldn't help but hum the tune. Um, so far, I think that's a pretty interesting uh, intro. Starts off with a bad joke. You think sort of her mom's, she's reflecting about how her mom used to tell bad jokes. Um, I guess her mom's death from cancer still hurt hitting her, which is completely understandable. Um, anyway, so this guy, and his, I guess his name's Jack Duckett, he ends up stealing this, this trunk that had a bunch of stuff from Jonah Hex in it. Uh, I never read Jonah Hex, so I don't really know. Maybe they referenced some things in there. I personally don't know that. That's why I'm the Dawn expert. And then it shoots over to Gotham where we see Batman, Black Lightning, and Katana. And honestly, after reading the whole book, I don't know why this is in here. Um, anyway, back to Jack Duckett who finds the God's Eye which he shoves into his skull. Which is kind of weird. Um, and then Ginny's giving a police report when they see this huge beam of light almost like an explosion they run into the basement and it looks like uh, I guess the sheriff and the guy they work with die which is sort of interesting I wish I cared more about when this happened but they haven't really established these characters so I wonder how much they're gonna be in it going forward um, after that they come out of the basement and they find a crowd surrounding the new guy Three-Eyed Jack who was Jack Duckett now with that God's eye apparently it's his third eye um, and then it basically shoots to the friend Alex didn't die from that explosion but he, he became some type of Hulk monster and starts chasing them and trying to kill them and then while fighting him uh, her mom shows up. Um, so basically, I when I first saw that, I was like, I can't wait to see what happens because um, I know or what had happened. Because for her to be there, she either had to have some type of plan where it looked like she died from cancer, or someone brought her back. Um, and then her mom said that her dad had a good reason for taking the God's eye. And so I'm not sure if he's the one who brought her back um, without, without spoiling what's ahead. Um, but at that point, I just was just as perplexed as Jimmy was in that moment. Anyway, and then it shoots over to Jack telling Ginny about how he hired Jonah Hex to help him find a legendary pearl which turned out to be the God's Eye. Uh, but Jonah killed him when Jack turned on Jonah. Uh, but Jack was close enough to the God's Eye that he got some of its power. Uh, and then he does some like quippy back and forth with Ginny and she's not having it. So he actually possesses his her lady, her friend Ladybird. Um, and Ladybird's actually able to mentally fight him from fully taking her over. And then Ginny starts getting on the physical end 
uh, fighting him and is able to rip the god's eye out of Jack's skull and then I think he dies it's not quite clear um, and then she Jenny reaches out to Superman to come get the god's eye and then there's some quirky back and forth between Jenny and Ladybird and then they both ride off into the sunset now I do think that uh, this was fun uh, like I said I didn't read Jonah Hex um, but it, it seems like there's some backstory that uh, I don't know about that maybe there's comics out there I need to look into or they may have just been building her past currently so that's one question I have um, another question is what happened with her mom um, is there gonna be an arc about the God's eye or is that just kind of done now that Superman has it with the Justice League and Ginny's off with Ladybird um, why did we see that scene in Gotham with Batman Black Lightning and Katana um, I'm hoping it brings them all together it would be kind of fun to see Ginny um, team up with Naomi and sort of start their own little sort of adventures together. I'm surprised they had Superman come in and not Naomi, honestly. But they probably wanted some established Justice League member come get this to give Ginny... Uh, sort of more credence as a uh, viable hero that you would want to follow that her stories could be just as legendary and just as uh, thoughtful and fleshed out uh, as some of theirs even though Superman might not be the best example because I don't think Action Comics or Superman are going very well right now um but anyway those are just some of my initial thoughts let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you like this video please click a like um don't forget to subscribe uh, i do not only comic books it's mostly comic books at this point um but i have some home improvement tips i'm gonna be going over movies and tv shows uh, I am going to be doing some history documentaries on here, um, paranormal stuff, um, just all sorts of different things. And if that seems something that interests you, uh, I hope you'll consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell so you see the, the videos as they come out. Alright, hope you enjoyed this. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.